What's up everyone, Erica here, and I'm back today with another video for you. Welcome back to my channel, friends, but you know, if this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos, then it's just welcome, not welcome back. Either way, I'm so happy to have you here for today's video. I feel awkward saying, long time no see, but it's kind of true. <laughs> I've been slacking on my YouTube videos and I don't want to be one of those people that like every time I come on to film a video I apologize for my absence so I promise you guys I'm trying really hard to stay on top of my channel and being consistent and all that good stuff but life has got me going crazy I will get into a little bit of the reasoning and what's going on in the month of June um, in this video but but first let me go ahead and kind of like fill you guys in on what today's video is gonna be about. Earlier in this year, I believe it was back in January, I filmed a video sharing with you all some of my most recent favorite small shops, if you will. You know, when we had gone to Disney World, I bought a lot of outfits and things like that, and I did purchase from a lot of small shops. It's something that I love to do. I promise that another video of the same sort will be coming out soon-ish. <laughs> Today is going to be kind of like a spin on that. I'm giving a shout out specifically to my friend Nicole over at Irresistible Magic. So the reason I was inspired to film this video is I know Nicole isn't like hurting for business. She's crazy talented. People are, you know, wanting her services, her, her craftiness skills, but I like to give her more business. And I thought it would be kind of a cool video to spotlight one of my favorite small shops or creators. I believe Nicole prefers to do like person to person transaction versus like an Etsy shop. So if you wanted something done, you can just go to her and I don't know, give her an idea or say something you want. I just thought it would be a fun video to kind of open up the stuff that she sent me so I can share with you guys and kind of share my thought process in highlighting her in this video. I hope that makes sense. In that video, I talked a lot about Nicole and like her ears. I'm wearing a pair that she sent me for my birthday. These are my beautiful Princess and the Frog Tiana ears that she made me. I have three pairs of ears like this, you guys. The talent. I'm telling you guys, I, I will never shut up about Nicole. Like she is, she can literally do anything. Anyway, I opened the box of the items that she sent to me and the first thing I saw was something I knew she was sending to me. This video is gonna be a lot of talking. I've already done a lot of talking, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into this stuff now. So the first thing she sent, it's kind of like an unboxing because I haven't really got to everything that's in here, okay? Um, so this is, look at this card. I saw it already, but like I'm obsessed with it and I can't wait to put it up somewhere. So it says, happy birthday, you are bright, you are smart, you are a star, you're incredible, no doubt. Love, Dave, Nicole, Brad, and Belle. So it's kind of like a birthday card for Juliana. Some items you wanted and some for fun, plus birthday gifts for your little girl under yellow. Okay, the reason I was kind of like prefacing that June is gonna be very busy for me, Juliana, my daughter, is turning four. Uh, her birthday is June 13th, so we are having a bluey themed birthday party for her. Now for those of y'all that don't have kids or like little kids, you're probably like, what the hell is bluey? It's fine. I, I probably wouldn't know either if it weren't for my daughter. Um, Bluey is like a Disney Junior show, but it is so cute, you guys. Like, I am not a real big fan of like the new age, you know? I was a Disney Channel kid, so I'm like, ugh, all these new shows, gross. Where's PB&J Otter and Roly Poly Only? You know, anyway. But Bluey, I love me some Bluey. So if you have little ones and you've never heard of it, I highly recommend you watch a couple they address very like important life lessons and there is a little teensy teensy bit of adult humor not in an appropriate way but there are jokes that like only an adult would get you know i'm going on and on about this because i did ask nicole if she could make us some bluey like i'm gonna wear my favorite episode of bluey in a shirt so is jd um and we got juliana some stuff side note you guys will have to let me know down in the comments if this is something that you would be interested in, but I'm thinking of uploading a video kind of sharing what I purchased and how I threw together this birthday party kind of thing. It will be held at my mom's house, so it won't be in our backyard like it's been every other year for her birthday, 
um, but this year it's going to be at my mom's, but I would love to share everything that I purchased and things like that. So for that reason, let me know if you guys would like to see that video. I would be happy to film it. But I had asked Nicole, like, don't go out looking for it, but do you have bluey fabric? And she was like, I don't. And then she ordered it anyway. So Nicole doesn't listen to me. <laughs> um, but I was like, I would love a knotted headband. I would love little bows for Juliana because... As most of you might know, if you do follow my channel consistently, if you will, Juliana isn't a fan of ears. I mean, what toddler is, but she doesn't wear them for long periods of time, even when she does. So I love having little bows to put in her hair and like we can match, whatever. So because of that, I asked her to make me a knotted headband of blue with the bluey, <laughs> with the bluey fabric and some bows for Juliana, but you guys, Nicole delivered and blew my mind again. When did she not? Not only did she find bluey fabric, but she found yellow bluey fabric. And you're probably like, great Erica, who cares? I care. Yellow is Juliana's favorite color, without a doubt. Her number one favorite color is yellow. Um, like anything she sees on the street, like all the cars, all the school buses, all the flowers, all the signs, like, that's yellow, that's my favorite. It's her thing right now, she's obsessed with yellow. So the fact that she found bluey fabric, but it's yellow, I lost my mind. So I'm assuming both of these are for me because she asked me what kind of headband I wanted and I said, I like both. I like the little knot and I like the bow too. So she surprised me and did both, but you guys, I know how to make a knotted headband thanks to Saria. Like she has like a no so like cheating, cheating way. But these are like, I could never, I could never. They're so good. They're so beautifully made. The way that she does things, she's just meticulous. And that's why I want to spotlight Nicole. She's not gonna cut corners. She is very thorough with her work. She's very like, I don't know. I, I don't want to say perfectionist because I'm gonna say it, she's a perfectionist. <laughs> it's just so clean, like it's just so beautifully done. Look at this headband, look at the knot. She sewed the little um, flaps of the bow. It's so beautiful, the lining is orange and this one is just white, but like I love this little knot, it's perfect and the fabric is adorable. It's bingo and bluey. And those are the girls, they're sisters. So it looks like they're at school or playing or something. There's like crayons and paint and stuff, which is perfect for Juliana. That's like all her life right now. So these are gonna be perfect, perfect. So I'm assuming again that both of these are for me. I don't know, maybe one of them is for Juliana. Nicole, you'll have to let me know. Then she made Juliana two little bows, like two different sizes and two different clips in that same fabric. But this is what I'm saying. Nicole is just very thoughtful and very considerate when it comes to stuff like this. I might have mentioned this in the past, but when Juliana and I went to Disneyland for Halloween, I made um, a pair of ears for Rita and myself. And I didn't want Juliana to wear ears, but I used the same fabric to make her a bow. But this is what I'm referring to. I just glued the bow onto like an alligator clip, but Nicole takes the time to attach a piece of felt to the bottom part of the clip. Like it's just, she's really good at what she does. And this is something that's very important for me to highlight. She's very good at what she do, at what she does. She's talented, she's an artist, but like literally jack of all trades. She's so talented. The thought that I had earlier, that I mentioned earlier in the video that I felt was really important to talk about is that if there's a fabric that you love and you're like, man, I really wish I could have a pair of ears like that or I don't know, a pocket tee or a bow or a knotted headband or a mask, like reach out to Nicole. And I'm, you know, like I asked her about this. I asked her if she had bluey fabric. She said no, but she found it and she like outdid herself. I'm gonna be frank with you guys. We don't wear our masks anymore, like as often as we were. And it makes me really sad that I had all of these super adorable masks with these incredible fabrics. Like 90% of them were from Nicole. And I can't, I don't really wear them that much anymore. So that does bum me out a little bit. But that's what I'm saying. If you have a fabric on hand and you don't really know what to do with it, or if you've seen one and you kind of want to reach out to Nicole and see if she has anything similar because you want a headband or a bow for your kids, like reach out to her. Okay, I completely lost my train of thought because I saw... 
some men going door to door and I watch too much true crime. So let, let me try to collect my thoughts and get back to the video. <laughs> anyway, the point that I think I was trying to get across is that if there's a certain character you like or a certain fabric, Nicole has so many fabrics, you guys, it's bananas. I never believe her, but then when she shows me, I'm like, you weren't kidding. But if you want like a certain movie or princesses or villains or something like that, I just urge you to reach out to her and see what she can do for you. I mean, kind of like a custom order, if you will. So I'm gonna keep going because I see another bag here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So she made me more matching sets. So I asked, I did ask her for this one. Oh my God, I can't. I did ask her for this one because she was sharing with me that she got um, minion fabric and Juliana is obsessed with the minions right now. It's very like delayed. I tried to show her Despicable Me a long time ago because I do love those movies. Um, but she, she's so sweet. I definitely did not ask her to make me one but I will absolutely like match with her. She made me a knotted headband and she made Juliana a minion bow. I forgot I did ask her for this as well. We are pass holders for SeaWorld here in San Diego. So we do wear a lot of like our Sesame Street stuff, especially Juliana, and she doesn't really have any like headgear. So I did ask her if she had any um, Sesame Street fabric and of course she does so she made me my own knotted headband look at how cute is that it's a loose one too it's so beautiful the way that she made it because it is attached to the headband but it's kind of like bunched I'm gonna oops I'm gonna try this one on to see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about oh my god it's so lightweight too so you see how the headband looks kind of like um scrunched a little bit like it's not a tight wrap around the headband because it's not it's literally like a piece of fabric she kind of manipulated that looks so cute and naturally she made juliana two little ones as well i like these these she made the same size and when i see these i think about like pigtails like i can put these on juliana super cute i love these it's like a super cute comic book fabric i'm telling you you guys you have to trust me when i say she has a million fabrics okay I'm gonna try them all on right now. Try the minion one on. That is super cute. I like that a lot. That's like the little knotted one. And then I'm gonna try the bluey one on. I really like this yellow a lot. Look at how cute that is. I love it. Oh my gosh, Juliana's gonna have a, f she's gonna flip yellow and bluey. I can't. Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. Look at her professional Ooh, this is cute okay so this one because she's so talented i'm telling you so it is harry potter fabric but it's like it has all the houses and the crest and like their little scarves and stuff like that but look at the way she made this one it's like little clips so again for pigtails which is awesome because i do have like i don't know maybe like one or two harry potter headbands uh but now juliana has some too oh my gosh Nicole. <laughs> okay, I did ask her to make me something else and I'm assuming this one's it. Um, so, in case you guys haven't heard, I love Encanto. <laughs> Nicole and I both share like a very, very strong love for the movie and the message and the characters and everything. So we really bonded over that because I think we saw it like within a couple of days of one another. So we were like talking back and forth about it a lot. Because she has so much incredible fabric, she showed me the Encanto fabric that she had. And I was like, what are you making with those? Can I have one too? <laughs> so I'm, of course I'm gonna pay her for this stuff. Like I do not expect anything for free because it's a lot of hard work that she does. But this is like a little, um, like a little tote bag because I did ask her to make me one for my aligners. So, I always bring a little makeup bag with me in my lounge fly that I'm using at the time and I keep, you know, my Invisalign little case, I keep my toothbrush and my toothpaste in there, sometimes a mouthwash, but I'm like, how cool would it be to have one that matches my favorite bag, my Encanto lounge fly? Um, so I think this is the one that she made for that. I'm gonna have to ask her, but you guys. It's Antonio fabric, but that's not even what the best part is for me. The butterflies too and Tico is on there 
but it's the capybara. <laughs> the capybara is like one of my most favorite things. <laughs> and she's so professional. She even has like her little tag right there, irresistible magic. It's just so beautiful and very practical. I'm obviously gonna get like a ton of use out of this. Oh, okay, so this must be um, Nicole will Nicole will send over some stuff that Belle, her daughter, has outgrown, and she's like, you know, if Juliana wants to use it, great. If not, like, give it to somebody, whatever. But everything that she has sent to us, we have used. We have used because she has really cute stuff. It's almost like she's like a Disney friend of mine or something. <laughs> but this is the first shirt that she sent. It says, nice until proven naughty. <laughs> and it's Stitch tingled up in Christmas lights. Juliana loves Stitch. I am not a big Lilo and Stitch fan or Stitch in general. I like the movie plenty, but like he's not my favorite character. Um, but Juliana really likes Stitch a lot. So that will absolutely be worn. Nicole, this looks brand new. Brand new. Oh my gosh. She's gonna, she's gonna flip. <gasps> Okay, you guys know I've been going on and on about yellow being her favorite color. It is. But close seconds are orange and green. So anytime there's, you know, if I'm showing her something, she'll highlight that it's orange too. Orange, my favorite color. So this is the perfect color. This shirt is like, it's from Kohl's and the Jumping Beans brand, if those are, if you're familiar with that. But the material of this shirt is incredible. It's like, I have no other way to explain this other than this is perfect for San Diego because in the fall, it's not cold whatsoever. It's like still summer, but the nights get a little bit brisk and this is perfect. Like it's a long sleeve, but it's thin. It's even thinner than a spirit jersey, if you can imagine that. But I haven't even shown you what it is. It is Chip and Dale and it says trick or treat and they're dressed in like a little costume. It's a 4T, but it looks big. So I, she will absolutely fit into this during like come the Halloween season. Juliana loves Chip and Dale. I don't know if Nicole remembers that or not, but she is obsessed. I know Nicole and um, her kiddos are pretty big on Chip and Dale as well, but this looks brand new. So I don't know if like you bought it by mistake, Nicole, but I love that. Or maybe it's her birthday present. I thought maybe I read that wrong. I don't know. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Today will be awesome. Stop. Oh my gosh. Again, with this kind of shirt, it's the same material as that one. It's the Jumping Beans brand. Again, this is a 5T. And it says, Today will be awesome. But the A in today is Mickey. The I in Will is Goofy. And the E is Donald. And then you have them here on the side of the sleeve. Oh my gosh. So this is a 5T. Juliana is going to be four and she's barely fitting into a 4T right now. Like it's still a little bit big. So this will definitely get our use out of it for sure. I love it so much, Nicole. She's going to be so excited. The hard thing when things are too big for her and it's she loves it. She wants to wear it like now and then she's swimming in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. You guys are gonna die. If you love Encanto, you're gonna die. I love this so much. Nicole. Okay. If you guys saw my Loungefly collection video, I kind of touch on the fact that I do love having the matching wallet. It is something that I enjoy if I can. I don't do it for every bag, obviously. Um, but my Encanto bag, they didn't come out with a wallet. When Nicole was showing me that she made herself a little coin purse, I was like, can I have that please? I saw a few fabrics, but this one really caught my eye. And it is kind of like the family tree. If you guys remember, um, obviously like in Casita in the kitchen. So at the top, it's obviously like Abuela and Abuelo Pedro. And then Peppa and Felix and Julieta and Agustin. But like, obviously there's only so much that fits on this little coin purse. And then on the back, she fit all the cousins, but like just barely. Like Antonio is all the way at the edge and so is Mirabel. The only person <laughs> is kind of 
funny. The only person that's not on here is Bruno. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> we just watched it this morning. I'm very I'm living my best Encanto life. Anyway, the inseam of the bag, you guys, the inseam, okay? Somebody tried to correct me that I said it incorrectly, so immediately I was like, girl, bye. So I'm gonna keep saying it now because if she's still watching, inseam, 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 inseam. <laughs> anyway, the inseam of the bag is yellow and it is a really nice like waterproof material. The whole thing is waterproof. It's like fake leather, like vinyl, I think. Um, and she put her little logo on it, but look at how talented she is. She even has this little like um, loop-de-loop -loop that you could like attach to your keys or the inside of your purse. I love that. But then she also sent me this one and it's beautiful. The fabric is so gorgeous. It's like this beautiful tie-dye in the background, which I love. I love tie-dye and pastel, like pastel tie-dye. Are you kidding me? It's like right up my alley. That's totally me. And we have Dolores, Isa, Abuela, like you have everybody. It's just such a beautifully designed fabric. But then on the back, she also put a little like ID holder in the front so this could legit be my wallet i'm thinking like maybe i'll keep oh my god can you imagine my invisalign bag a coin purse and like a little wallet <laughs> i'm set i love it so much i love it so much i can't nicole i'm so obsessed you did such a phenomenal job this one also has the little like what do you call it hook loop de loo with her logo on it she's so professional i'm telling you guys the last, the last two things are birthday gifts for Juliana, which I think I'm probably going to give to her now. Nicole so obviously did not have to send Juliana anything because she bought specific fabric for her and literally made her like all those bows, all those headbands. I can't, but I will include her opening up her gifts. But Nicole, I loved everything. Like I'm, I, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so excited to put, I have my Encanto bag like right here. I kind of just want to put everything in there and be like, oh, why, why don't I? What's stopping me? Nothing. Oh, hello. Hi there. What's that? You need to see my ID? Oh, sure thing. Oh, here's my ID. Oh, this whole thing? Yeah, just a friend of mine custom made it for me. <laughs> oh, you need some change? Sure thing. There you go, keep the change. Oh, you know what? You're gonna buy me a drink? Sure, let me take my Invisalign out first. <laughs> that was super obnoxious, I'm so sorry. Now I'm in my Encanto stuff, but you guys get the gist, okay? I love my stuff. Nicole, I love you so much. Thank you for sending me all of this incredibleness. I love everything. Juliana is gonna love her shirts, love her bows, love whatever these little gifts are, I'm sure of it. Again, you guys, I'm urging you, if you are interested in a specific fabric of a character, a movie, a fandom, she doesn't just do Disney, obviously. You see Sesame Street, you see Blue, you see Harry Potter just here. She has Star Wars, she has Harry Potter. I mean, the girl's crazy, okay? She's crazy, I love her. She's one of my closest friends, but she crazy. <laughs> Anyway, I hope this video is giving the information that I wanted to give. I want you to reach out to Nicole if you want a custom pair of ears, if you want a mask for your upcoming Disney trip, if you want a little cosmetic bag, if you want a... She made her own bag, you guys. Like, she literally copied a bag that she wanted, bought her own fabric, and made herself a bag. Are you kidding me? She cannot be stopped, okay? And who's gonna stop her? Not me. Not you. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me today, you guys. I, of course, will leave all of Nicole's information listed in the description box, but go give her a follow. Go tell her she's incredible, she's talented. All of the things. Go tell her all of the things. Tell her I sent you. Your friend Erica says that you're crazy talented and you need to believe her, okay? <laughs> Friendly reminder, please let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing me put together Juliana's Bluey birthday party and let me know down in the comments what your favorite thing was that nicole sent my way i'm so excited i'm so excited for everything i feel like now i need to plan a universal trip so we could wear like our minion stuff and our harry potter stuff i'm gonna shut my trap before i just keep going on and on and on that's gonna do it for me today friends for now i want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and i hope to see you back again for the next one bye